All right, so let's look into the chapter number four, HTTP. So I believe that HTTP, most of you already know, else you weren't able to view my video here. Uh, at this moment, you are using a browser to view my video, and these are the HTTP, which is the hypertext transfer protocol. So let's look into here. HTTP is where you have a browser, and you go into and type the URL, and after you type the URL, I'm going to send you back the corresponding page content through HTTP content. So this HTTP uh, command, we have the request and the response. When you enter a URL, so the URL stands for Uniform Resource Locator, something like Huawei.com in a browser. The browser can obtain data from a web server and display the content. HTTP or Hypertext Transfer Protocol, an application layer protocol for communication between client, which is using the browser, and the web server. Okay, so we have a client server, and the uh, protocol they are using on transport here is called uh, TCP. And uh, they have port 80, which is a clear text, and port 443, which is using encrypted uh, secure socket layer, SSL. So a little bit uh, on the background on the HTTP. So in the early days of the internet, Triple W or World Wide Web was proposed to share documents. The Triple W consists of three parts. HTML, which is the hypertext markup language. Whatever that you see on the browser is actually HTML code for display document content in a browser. HTTP for transmitting document on the network and URL for specify the location. All right. So if you want to go to Google, you type www.google.com. So www was actually the name of a client application for browsing HTML document and now represent a collection of technology, which is HTML, HTTP, and URL. And it's commonly used as, uh, known as web. Okay, so I believe that this one are uh, common information. Now let's look into the uh, transfer example on the HTTP. As I mentioned that these are the client server application. Here on the browser, you are going to type in the uh, URL. So in the URL, after you enter, they are actually look for the resource. So once the resource is located, you can see that we have the command called get, and uh, these are the hosts to tell you that the resource uh, location and once you enter this resource will actually send to the client okay so this is the uh, example here so here after receiving the HTTP response the browser pass and render the receive HTML file and display the page to the user so you send this get request and I'm going to return you back using HTTP uh, you can see that the code is 200 okay using the HTML code. So this is basically how the HTML works. 